um, encourage you to do something. It was like, it was basically learn the history of our sport of running because it is such a rich history. Good afternoon, video two publishing today. Oh, what a great topic. I, okay, I love reading and I love learning, but since I started the daily vlog, my reading has been reduced dramatically because I just don't have enough time and I'm too tired to read. Therefore, I, you know, about two years ago, I started thinking, huh, maybe I should start learning while I'm running. So when I run, I'm often about, I'd say about 80% of the time, I'm usually listen, listening to something. Um, on my workouts, I don't listen to anything like the really intense threshold workouts. I like to focus on my breathing. Uh, but when I'm going out, just getting the miles in, I'm often listening to something, okay? Whether it's a podcast or an audiobook. So here we go. I love, so this YouTube channel, I love connecting with you. I love inspiring you, hopefully. I love uh, capturing beauty through the daily vlogs. But in addition, the resources that we are all sharing collectively down in the comments, it's amazing. And it's, I would say, a very high feature of this channel because of your contribution. So here we go. Question of the day. What has been your top running podcast of 2019 and your top running book or audiobook? Preferably, I would say, um, but most books these days are audiobooks as well. Uh, so top audiobook of 2019 that is connected to running. That's the question of the day. It's all about learning together. Um, you know, remember what I said last week about if I could um, encourage you to do something, it was like, it was basically learn the history of our sport of running because it is such a rich history, okay? So anyway, that's the question of the day. Go down to the comments, it's gonna be amazing. But here are my top three running podcast of 2019. I'm gonna keep it pretty quick. I'm not gonna to say too much about it. You just gotta go see if it uh, piques your interest. And I have them written down here. So number one, here we go, the British Ultra Running Podcast. So as you know, I'm an ultra runner who's transitioning back to the marathon, but this British Ultra Running Podcast is a lot of good banter, great accents, shout out to all the Brits out there, and uh, funny. And what they do, it's two guys, James Elson and Dan Lawson. They're basically talking about the sport of ultra running. So distances past a marathon. So 50 Ks, 50 milers, 100 milers. But here's what's crazy. Dan Lawson, he's actually, he's kind of insane. He does these, um, Dan, I love you. I don't know you, but I love you. I say it in a good way. He's kind of insane with respect to, he does these crazy like uh, multi-stage races. Um, he'll do like, uh, like uh, 500 mile races, 1000 mile race, just these crazy long, long 24 hour races, 48 hour race, just these amazing long runs. So, but what's beautiful about this podcast, now I will say their publishing schedule is a little sporadic. I still love you guys, don't worry. Uh, but they, um, their banter, their banter is just top notch, meaning where they're just kind of riffing together a little off topic. Um, sometimes, a lot of times on top, it's just so funny and it's very enjoyable. It makes the miles go by when you're out there on your long run. So number one, the British ultra running podcast. Number two, runners of New York city hosted by Gene Mack and Chris Chavez. So I actually was going to pull up a few of their most recent podcasts just to share with you some that jumped out at me. Uh, they, so what they do is they interview runners of New York city or runners that are connected to New York City. So when I was getting to race my New York City Marathon this past fall, I was like, gosh, how am I gonna learn about New York and really get to understand the culture of running in New York? And I love, I must say, I have mad respect for New York and Boston and, and Philly to a certain extent, but like the culture of running in those regions is strong and there's a lot of good running clubs in those regions it's a little different out west anyway mad respect to like the runners of the 60s and 70s uh, of new york city that just kind of planted the roots of running out there so runners in new york city hosted by g mac and chris chavez where they interview uh different runners um some that jump out at me david perry of adidas malcolm gladwell was a good one uh lindsey kraus was a good one uh, Lucy Payez uh, Stelzner of Distance Project New York City. So if you love New York City, which I do, I love the history of New York City, that's another good one. Runners of New York City is the name. Okay, number three, 
Ultra Running History, hosted by Davey Crockett. So I believe he lives in Utah. Again, you know, I'm an ultra runner transitioning to the marathon, but he, I don't know how he does it, but, and it's, I, okay, Dave, Davey Crockett, I love you, but some of his, um, so he does a lot of, um, what is it, what is it called? Uh, sound effects in his podcast. Pretty high quality production value, but a little cheesy at times, but I like it, Davy Crockett. Keep it going. Basically, he gives the history of ultra running. But, for example, there was an episode this past year where he dove into the history of ultra running. Back, and it wasn't even called that back then, though. In the 1800s in England, where they were having, I don't know if you knew this, back in the 1800s, they had thousand mile races in the 1800s. And these runners uh, were actually, they were wagered on. So people would make a lot of money on these runners who tried to run or walk, um, excuse me, who tried to run or walk a thousand miles uh, without, and the, 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 one, the one rule was that they had to cover a mile every hour. So it created these really bizarre sleep patterns. Anyway, Davy Crockett, thank you for the podcast where you, you really get immersed into the history of ultra running and I learn a lot. So anyway, I love that one. It's called the Barclay Match is this event, this 1,000 mile event in England in the 1800s. Okay, moving on. I'm gonna try and be a little quicker here. My top, so those are my top three podcasts, my top three audio books that I listened to in 2019, getting ready. So my first one, here we go. A Race Like No Other, and by the way, these three books are available down below. Uh, A Race Like No Other by Liz Robbins. It's all about, yes, the New York City Marathon. Each chapter is broken into each mile of the race, so she walks you through from start to finish. Uh, Chapter 13 is called Chapter 13.1. I think the last chapter is Chapter 26.2, and she interviews the elite runners, so she highlights the elite runners in the race, but also just normal everyday folks in the race. And she gets these amazing stories, and it's a highlight of the 2007 New York City Marathon, I do believe. Um, Yeah, 2007, and there was a lot of drama around that year, so A Race Like No Other by Liz Robbins, it's available down below. Uh, Shoe two, or sorry, shoe two. Book two is called Shoe Dog, a memoir by the on the founder of Nike. So it's by, it's on the it's a memoir by Phil Knight, who is the founder of Nike. And you know, with all the news about Nike this year, I must say this book, Shoe Dog, a memoir on the founder of Nike, really put into a little better context of the history of Nike, the founding of Nike, the battles that Phil Knight went through to start Nike back in the 70s. Yeah late 60s, early 70s. Um, So he highlights Bill Bowerman, of course, Steve Prefontaine, and really goes into, it's actually also, if you enjoy business and entrepreneurship, it's a great book on those two topics as well. So I I learned so much about the shoe industry, the running shoe industry, and business, and then running history as a whole. Um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. It's a, I enjoyed it a lot. So Shoe Dog, a memoir on the founder of Nike. Last but not least, oh my goodness. How Bad Do You Want It by Matt Fitzgerald, okay? It's a book about the mental strategies of endurance sports. So he, he highlights runners, cyclists, and then triathletes in this book. Also, actually also rowers in one of the chapters, kind of interesting. But it basically breaks down some of the mental side of how we can be tougher when it comes to being yet tougher in our racing, especially, and our training, but especially our racing. And he gives some tips, tricks, and strategies on how to become a little bit of a tougher athlete. And it was eye-opening. It's, it was so eye-opening, and it was pretty dense, kind of sci- a little scientific as well. And uh, so I'm not, as strong, I'm not as strong in the sciences. I will go back and listen to this book, How Bad Do You Want It? by Matt Fitzgerald in 2020, because it was that well, yeah, it was, and it actually, one of the, one of my former teammates was interviewed for the book. So really, really fascinating topic if you are interested in learning about how to work on your mental toughness. All right, here you go. How Bad Do You Want It? by Matt Fitzgerald. Again, it's available down below. All, those three are all audio books as well. One more time, the British Ultra Running Podcast, Runners of New York City, Ultra Running History, A Race Like No Other, Shoe Dog, A Memoir on the Founder of Nike, and then last but not least, How Bad Do You Want It 
Bada bing, bada boom. Can't wait to read your uh, answers to the question of the day down in the comments. Thanks for being here for video number two, publishing today, onward and upward. All right, we'll toss it back to a couple of the vlogs on the right and the left from the past week about the top running gear, top running shoes of 2019. A lot of people are watching those, so thank you so much. Oh, you guys are the best. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.